And out of all of the prizes, this is my personal favorite. Because it's my type of thing. And it's actually a painting of Jada King. So, the fact that you're watching this video means that you're supposed to have already watched the first part of the video which is the uh me drawing Jada kingdom however even though i said that this video will be a painting tutorial um i realized that i had to draw like the the, the shoulder part or the chest part of her because if i don't it look like her head is floating <laughs> and i didn't want to you know make it appear as that so the first thing I'm basically doing is the lips. Uh, I don't know why I start with the lips. I, I guess I just thought that it's the easiest um, feature to do. So I um, started on the lips. Uh, so I worked with the, 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 the black outline. I know the lip of the black outline. And I started with the, the, the color theme blue. So, you know, basically, um, do the black outline, um, water down the black a little bit to, like, um, smear it out, um, the black before, um, adding the blue. So it look realistic, in a sense. Um, yeah, so I'm moving on to the forehead, the forehead, <laughs> the forehead. So, basically, um, I... I guess I used water, yeah, I used water colors, um, so basically water down the blue for it to be easier to work with, um, being able to know where I want to be lighter and where I want to be darker, uh, so as you can see, like, the edges around the edges are darker, are darker than the, the middle part, uh, so yeah, that area on the chest, you know, blue, and again you know where to add your black um the black could be like the the the, the shadow after the or under the the, the the blouse or the chin so you know i'm just basically working with my black and blue as of right now and locating where i should put blue and leaving out the space for me to add my red which I will do shortly, 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 because <laughs> I don't know how to give a, um, a demonstration or I don't know how to explain what I'm doing, but I'm trying. So basically, adding uh, the red now, and it's some areas you know you have to make it look purple, so I'm adding um, red on top of the blue, or some I mix. I mix the, the, the red and the blue sometimes to add specific areas um, so yes guys um just know that at this at this point is like um, I started to doubt myself because mother made say it no look good and and thing but at the same time I was still pushing forward to see um the end result i remember my mom came in the room and said that at this point say a long time you know paint i mean i say like mommy why would i say that well to myself mommy, why would i say that that, that kind of little you know demotivate i don't know it kind of it kind of made me feel demotivated but at the same time, I say, you know what? I'm going to take it as motivation to make sure I say, look good for sure, you say. Even though a long time I'm not paint, I still have the artistic skills in me. You get me? <laughs> you get me? So, you're not going to see eventually how it turned out. Um, I guess I just used these uh, or this layer of paint as, uh, as a, a background or an under color. Because uh, I'm going to add color on it. Like a base color, basically. So me adding paint on it will, like, increase the the, 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 the realistic effect. Um, as you can see, I mixed a lighter blue. And I'm adding it on top of the darker blue. Um, 
or on top of the blue itself to just you know make it look smooth yeah so this is where I actually it was starting to see it you know come together I mean I say okay well, I guess it's not that bad as I thought you know <laughs> so yeah you just basically um add where you're supposed to add um each uh tone of blue each tone of red where you're supposed to add the, the, the black um where you're supposed to make it look um smooth like going into the the red or the blue uh, that specific area that I'm painting on, a little area under her eye, it was giving me a lot of troubles. If you realize, I attacked it a lot of times, and I actually, um, eventually liked how it turned out. Um, so yeah, I'm basically adding the, the, the dark areas. And diving right into the eyebrows. Yeah, the eyebrows, guys. I I wanted the eyebrows to look like strokes of hair. Even though it will look like that in the picture, I wanted it to look like strokes of hair. But that did not work out. And it just looked like one, uh, like one thing. Like, it just paint full black. Um, but yeah, notice that I placed highlights on several areas on her i placed it on her lips which i totally love and adore like oh my god <sighs> just smart. i'm so proud of myself <laughs> so you can see that i added uh, a little white in the eye uh to make it have a little reflection of light you know like she's looking um, the light is reflecting on her eye uh, you can see that I put white on like her cheekbone her chest area etc on the the earring and the hair I actually did not know how to do the hair but I just I just I, I just did something and it eventually turned out to be you know something great because uh, the hair is white no, I'm moving on to the eyelash, which I do not know how to paint, but you know, I do my thing. Uh, first time painting eyelashes, and when I was done, actually wished that it could look better, but at the same time, I was proud of myself. As I said, it was my first time doing it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I painted the, the, the eye black. I covered the white area. Uh, when it's dry, I'm going to put it again in the exact center when it was there before it looked like she was looking at the side so you know i'm gonna do that you can see i added a little highlights there again on the the lips so guys i do not know how to to paint a chain and i don't know whether i should just like let it stay white like she just wrap around some runner or <laughs> or or just like make a chain on my own like a choker or something like just paint it black and white or something because i really don't know how to do this well i'm gonna try or just or just do you know some candid or just do something else we'll not spoil it and that's what i was like i'm gonna easy forgive up but sometimes if we make things stay and don't push it if you understand what I mean. But I guess we'll figure it out eventually. I'm going to do the outline now with black. Um, so yeah, with the black paint. I wish that I had a smaller paintbrush though, but I don't. So it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm not gonna use the pen. See if we can use a black paint instead of the paint. So, um, as you can see, I decided to use the paint. Um, um, ch challenging myself a little. I thought that uh, using the paint would be like the best way to give the best outline. Uh, so, yeah, I'm outlining the features of the face and the hair, etc. Doing this, it just lets everything look smooth it like 
make everything look like individual objects than like one flat thing and you know i love that also guys please do not forget to like this video i hope that you are enjoying it thus far and that you are learning and that you actually paint with me like guys try to paint it post it tag me in it and i will share it guys just at least try you know challenge yourself even if you feel like you can do it you'll be surprised to see that it actually come out better than you expect you know challenge yourself also guys um please 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 i ask of you to tag jada kingdom on the this post um i will be posting the, the painting on my art page at arts by janelle i'm asking you guys to please everyone that's hearing this if you have an instagram page please to go over at arts by janelle and comment at jada kingdom you tag at jada kingdom please guys because i want her to see this artwork i'm asking you again please go and tag her thank you i also um forgot to elaborate on the fact that i'm going to meet big trap 876 i think that's his name i don't know his right name but you know that famous jamaican tiktoker that is keeping the cutest jamaican competition um i think rayborn started it celestial being that boy on instagram um i think it's dayu dayu papi's brother um yeah i think he started the whole competition and they took it up as a joke other person sending their request or application and it turned out to be something serious in a sense although at the same time it's like still for comedy because it's actually very funny um so i decided to sponsor the competition giving this artwork to somebody who is in like the top five even if we are not like the first person or the second or the third you know the top five so you're going to get the painting and i do hope that the person getting this painting actually loves it as much as i do and you guys do <laughs> so yes guys um thank you for all the support thus far as i said i will get back on track with posting my art videos it's been so long and i know i need to you know do the do so guys i'm actually so in love with this piece i can't stop looking at it um i love everything about it um first time painting a portrait and i'm so obsessed like wow just look at that guys wow you know my best feature on this is the lips and the fact that i added highlight on the cheekbone and the eyelashes um and, and the, the reflection of the light on the eye and the um you know all those things i actually really love it <laughs> uh don't forget to comment your thoughts on the artwork and don't forget to comment at jada kingdom under the post on instagram thank you for so much for your support again and i hope that you stay blessed <laughs> peace so guys go over to paris official youtube channel and subscribe to her channel Go over there and comment Janelle, our spy Janelle sent me. So, you know, please go over there, show your support, get her to 1k subscribers. And yeah, also do not forget to comment at Jada Kingdom under this post on Instagram. Thank you. Out of all of the prizes, this is my personal favorite because it's my type of thing, and it's actually a painting of J.D. King. I know the challenge that I'm gonna do for this already. After this, the top 15 submit their videos. The person that does the best J.D. King song, sing it the best, do it the best, perform it the best, gets this painting. That's the challenge for this painting. So if you're a J.D. King fan. And you're in the top 15, get ready to sing like Jada Kingdom so you can win this. Oh, what do you see of it? They put a skittles in it, so... I have a only they put it in the back, but they know what about Make sure so much. What time it is already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I love it. I love this.
a lot of other things. So we're looking for this. I actually want this. Cause I think it looks good. Like right here. What do you think? Let me put that as it down. Mm hmm. I find someone put it still. So nobody, if nobody's in the top 15 in the Taylor Kingdom, I'm keeping this. I already told the girl that I might just keep it. Can I give it a check? So, y'all see the top 15? Make sure to tag them. But I think we need no more prize. You know. Next competition is coming up. Guys, right, do your best. Thanks for loving on for the support. Thanks for 80,000 followers. So now I feel like I'm going to say thanks for everything. So I guess it listens to me, but I still want to see the painting. So check out the one for me still. Most hopes in a paint, me, Pani. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Oh, the painting is on this page, guys. It's art by Janelle on Instagram. So you need to follow her, show her some support. Because she's a very good artist, guys. I'm not lying. She's doing one for me, too. And here is her YouTube as well, Art by Jadel. So subscribe to her YouTube. Watch her and see how some, see how some lit things going on here. Believe me. Thanks again for all our sponsors. Show them support because they're showing us support, guys.